Today on day one, we're honored to have with us again Bishop William H. Williman of the North Alabama Conference of the United Methodist Church, based in Birmingham. Bishop Williman has served as pastor of churches in Georgia and South Carolina, and for 20 years taught at Duke University and Duke Divinity School. The author of 60 books, he writes and lectures extensively on the subject of preaching. Bishop, thanks for joining us again. Thank you, Peter. It's great to be back on day one. You are amazingly prolific as a speaker, lecturer, writer, bearing witness in a number of ways. You've written something like 60 books and counting, and one of your most recent is called Who Will Be Saved? In it, you address one of the top theological questions of all time. What does the Bible teach about the reach and scope of God's salvation? Christian only, or will all in the end be saved? So how do you approach that issue in this book? Well, I... I try to approach it by looking at Jesus and what he did and what he said. And I think a case can be made that one of the reasons that Jesus was crucified was the breadth of his reach. Mm -hmm. uh, he seemed to have this sort of expansive embrace. Uh, he was criticized for the sort of people that he blessed and the, the people that he had dinner with. and. Uh, the reprobates that he welcomed into the kingdom and therefore in answering the question who is the recipient of God's salvation uh, Christians are, are, got, are really pushed by Jesus to have a, a, a hugely expansive response to that. Mm. You have a new book out I believe this month for preachers it's called Undone by Easter Keeping preaching fresh. Why did you write this book? Well, it, it came out of a series of lectures I did up at Duke. Uh, they assigned me my topic, and that is how to keep preaching fresh. And uh, so I, that that's a legitimate wish. Uh, it's preaching that goes stale is no fun for anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I talked about ways we preachers try to keep our sermons interesting. Uh, to give away the book uh, without buying the book. It just simply, I, I said, uh, one way preaching stays fresh is by talking about an interesting God. And mm -hmm. as Christians, we are blessed. We have a very interesting Savior to talk about, uh, one that who constantly rises up out of the boring, conventional places we try to put him, and uh, it becomes interesting in reinvigorating in every age. Uh, Karl Barth said uh, we need to talk about the Bible more than we talk about ourselves because the Bible is always more interesting than we are and and I think I, I believe that also about Jesus. So what are you working on now in terms of writing? Well I'm, I'm working on a book a, a, about Jesus. It's my attempt to sort of share with somebody and I've sort of pictured my mind a a young adult who's having difficulty believing in Jesus and following Jesus, but to uh, to just sit down and answer the question, why Jesus? And so I'm sort of going through a, uh, an exposition of kind of the life and the, the things about Jesus that I find interesting and shocking and strange and appealing and uh, and share those. So that, that's what I've been working on. Sounds interesting. You also keep a blog and do podcasts? Yeah, that's uh, one of our young clergy sort of pushed me into that. And uh, I've been amazed at the responses, the people who read it and, and respond, uh, and uh, the dialogue that it begins, and the debate. And, uh, you know, we preachers just love response, even when it's negative. In fact, we'll take negative response right along with the positive uh, just to know somebody's listening. And it's it's been great to kind of widen my congregation uh, through the technology. And that's at NorthAlabamaUMC.org? Right. And click on the Bishop's page. Right. It seems these days the church has more ways than ever to share the good news, not only through books, but online and videos and Twitter messages and on and on. Do you welcome this phenomenon, are we, or are we missing something in this media and technology? Well, I love to talk, and uh, <laughs> I love to, uh, and 
some sort of like to listen. Um, you know, I, I think it's we're we're in the kind of awkward stage where we're excited about this, but we don't know exactly where this is leading. I, I still am amazed that that uh, what I take to be a kind of an essential human holy mystery of one human being standing up in front of a group of other human beings mm-hmm. and speaking the gospel and testifying to what we believe is true, that still has a kind of uh, resilience about it. And um, particularly in the Christian faith, as Paul says, faith comes from hearing. And some of these media help us to uh, encourage that. And and maybe in some ways they, they also restore the the wonder of showing up at a little church somewhere and having one uh, modestly endowed person stand up and say, this I believe to be true about God, uh, m- maybe it will encourage that. Hmm. Will Willimon, it's been an honor to have you with us these past three weeks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. It's been great to be on day one.